Okay, for number 26, I see that I have a positive number and we're multiplying that by a negative number. So my answer is going to be negative. And now I'm just gonna multiply. So I have 0 0.4 times 0 0.03. Um, so in this case, I am not going to stack the decimal points like I usually do. I think what is going to be easier for us is to write it like this times 0 0.4. Okay, so what I've actually done this time is I lined it up so the last digits are lined up. And now I'm just going to do some multiplication. So I'm focusing on this 4 and I'm multiplying it by the numbers above. So four times three is 12, and everything else is zeros. Okay, so now we're ready to count the numbers behind the decimal point. And I have one, two, three numbers behind the decimal point. So I'm gonna take this imaginary decimal point and move it over three spaces. One, two, three. My decimal point is gonna end up over here. And in this blank spot right here, I need to fill it with something. We're gonna put a zero there. So our answer is gonna be negative 0 0.012.